Hey guys, the objective of this video is to work out moments of inertia for simple shapes. So today we're going to be looking at just a rectangle and a circle and just working out the moment of inertia from our formulas that we looked at in the previous video. So we'll start off by looking at this rectangle. So we have a rectangle here that is 200 millimeters tall and 400 millimeters wide and we've been asked to find Ix and Iy. So that is the moment of inertia relative to the x-axis and moment of inertia relative to the y-axis. So if we look at the formula that we had um, in the previous video, we have Ix is equal to bh cubed on 12 and b is this 400 because it's the breadth and h is this 200 because it's the height. So we can remember that. So this is a deflection about, this is, re this is a property which um, defines the deflection about this axis here. So you can see that if we had have had, if we had a taller structure, there's more material that's stopping this, um, this rectangle from being pushed downwards, from being um, sort of deflected downwards. So that means, and you can, that's reflected in this formula. So we have this H, H cubed. So you can see that the moment of inertia about this axis is mostly dependent on this height here. So if we have a very tall beam, then it's going to it's going to deflect a lot less than if we have a really um, thin beam, which makes sense. If we have a really thin piece of um, timber and we stand on it, it's going to deflect a lot more than if we have a very very thick piece of timber. So with that in mind, we can work out Ix. 